This is what you've been waiting for. Hello world, it's Siraj, and welcome to my new course on AI applied to business. The most valuable course I've ever made. We're gonna build a simple AI app for doctors that lets them upload a picture of an eye and tells them whether or not that eye has diabetic retinopathy. If you're looking to build a profitable AI startup or implement AI at your company in some way, this is the course for you. All my videos will be free and available right here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my latest content. Advances in medicine over the past few decades have improved healthcare immensely, allowing doctors to more efficiently diagnose and treat diseases. But doctors are still humans, which means they understandably still make mistakes. On the epic AF TV show, House, Dr. House's genius far exceeds his colleagues. Which implies that if all doctors were as smart as him, diagnostic mysteries and unnecessary deaths in hospitals would drastically decrease. But the reality is that the biggest difference between doctors is not their level of intelligence, it's how they approach patient problems and the type of health system that supports them. This combination is what causes such wide variations in clinical outcomes and it's the reason why machine learning is the best solution out there to improve doctors' capabilities. If you can't beat them, join them. There's so much potential here. For example, studies show that over half of all women in the US who get regular mammograms will receive at least one false positive, which is a test that wrongly indicates the possibility of cancer in a 10-year period. Radiologists regularly disagree on their respective interpretations of medical images. AI can do what no radiologist can. It can learn from hundreds of thousands of medical images and is estimated to be up to 10% more accurate than the average radiologist. That accuracy gap will only increase as computing power gets cheaper and can be applied to any of the countless subfields of medicine, not just radiology, like what the startup viz.ai is doing for brain scans. Doctors also have to interpret patient medical records, which can be a very complex task. NLP, a branch of AI that helps computers understand and interpret human language, can review thousands of medical records and output the optimal steps for evaluating and managing patients with many illnesses. Some doctors really are gifted at what they do, like Dr. Oz, just kidding. And AI can learn from the best by watching them do their work. If all doctors matched the performance of the top 20%, patient deaths from a variety of diseases would decrease by the hundreds of thousands per year. And while doctors have natural biases, AI is more likely to produce objective diagnoses for patients without preconceived socioeconomic notions, which can produce disparities in care. ML will become an essential tool for doctors like the stethoscope has been, and as more of the profession is automated, human empathy and compassion for patients will become paramount to their success in the field. Also good looks, let's just be real. So how do we pick a problem to solve? The AI in healthcare market is expected to grow at an incredible 48% compound annual growth rate in the next five years, according to research and markets. The tech giants like Google and Microsoft have massive amounts of data, talent, and computing power. They have a huge advantage when it comes to building horizontal products. These are products that can be applied to many use cases. But as a startup, you can build a vertical product, one that tackles a single problem very well, since they don't have the time to do that. One way to do this is to find relevant problems in online communities where doctors congregate. These can be forums, Slack channels, subreddits, Grey's Anatomy chat rooms about McDreamy, and see what kind of problems they're having. Another way would be to call up or schedule a visit to a local practice to hear firsthand about the type of problems they're having. Listening before acting is an important first step 
when finding the right problem to solve. Eventually, we'll come across a problem that is dealt with by multiple doctors. Let's say for the case of this demo, it's diagnosing diabetic retinopathy correctly. We can build a classifier to help solve this problem. But first, we've got to collect some quality data. The foundation of all machine learning is having lots of quality data. That's how it learns. Very few companies actually generate and own medical grade data since collecting this data from patients is quite difficult. So we're going to have to get a little creative. We can search the web by searching public imaging datasets for diabetic ret retinopathy. We'll come across a few. Some will require us to apply and register before getting access. So we can go ahead and do that and hope for the best. Alternatively, if you're a student at a university, you can go find the nearest imaging research center and ask the professor there. They're always willing to help with projects. PubMed is also a great place to find biomedical research papers. We can search for papers by the type of scan data we're looking for. And once we find a good one, we can just email those researchers directly, explain our project, and how it could be mutual beneficial to both of us. If we frame it more like we're trying to help them than asking them for something, they'll be more likely to help us. If we can get our hands on a quality data set, ideally with labels, because labeled data sets are always easier to learn from, then we know that we have a shot at solving this problem. But before we actually invest our time and energy into building an AI model, we need to make sure that we're able to get customers. The easiest way to do this is to create a simple landing page. We can find a template pretty easily online that asks for a simple email signup. We'd explain our product in detail and the landing page. And once we have it, we can send it to potential clients. In our case, that would be doctors and medical companies. We can find a directory of them online and email them one by one, post it in Facebook groups and see if we get any signups. If we're able to get a sufficient amount of signups, then we know that there is indeed interest in our product and we can go ahead and start building. There's an entire ecosystem of libraries and services that help us build models. Archive Sanity is a great tool to help us search for how the latest AI models have been applied to medical diagnoses in research labs. Once we find a cool paper, we can use it as a guide to help build our own model. It's important to remember that there are so many tweaks and modifications we could potentially make to our model to improve it. But the best thing to do is to first build a prototype that works as fast as possible and then iterate from there. Convolutional neural networks are a type of model that have proven to outperform all others when it comes to image classification, which is our use case. The fastest and easiest way to build a convolutional neural network is by using the Keras machine learning library. It lets us build neural networks easily with its high level API. Each line of code corresponds to a different layer in our neural network. We can search GitHub for an image classification Keras model and use that as a base model. Notice how the parameters all seem like magic numbers. How are we supposed to know which numbers are optimal? This is the art of deep learning. Figuring out the right parameters for a certain type of model is the kind of thing that research papers focus on in this field. Sometimes a simple tweak gives rise to a breakthrough in accuracy. We can use similar parameters to the paper we chose to start and train this model on our data set. I have a MacBook Pro, love you Apple, let's collab, okay thanks, bye and not a deep learning rig. So I found that the best bet for me is to upload my model to Floyd Hub, which is a platform as a service that helps train deep learning models in the cloud. We can do this in the command line with just a few commands. What it's doing is learning the mapping between the input data, which are the medical images, and the output data, which are the diagnoses of the images. Once it's learned this pattern, given a new image, it can accurately predict 
what the diagnosis is. Once it's done training, we can use Floyd Hub to create a basic API call where we merely send it an image and it will return the prediction of that image. With any web framework of our choice, we can build a single web page that asks the user to upload an image. It'll call the API and return the prediction for the user to see. Just like that. From here, we can make programmatic improvements, add a better design, and finally, start collecting some sales. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I've got three things for you to remember from this video. AI can help doctors better approach patient problems and improve the health system that supports them. Improving diagnoses, interpreting patient medical history, and drug discovery are just a few of the potential practices that AI can improve on and we can build a simple model using the Keras deep learning library, then train and deploy it using Floyd Hub. Wanna be friends? Hit the subscribe button and I'm all yours. For now, I've gotta see my robot, I mean doctor, so thanks for watching.